Ladies and gentlemen, today we're diving into some groundbreaking updates about NEO that could reshape the future of autonomous driving and the EV market. From ditching NVIDIA to developing their own cutting-edge chips, NEO is making bold moves that deserve your attention. But it's not all smooth sailing there's urgent news about a recent stock downgrade from HSBC that has sparked some concerns. Is this panic justified, or is there more to the story? Let's break it all down and see what this means for NEO's future. NEO has made a significant move, parting ways with NVIDIA, a longtime partner. This development comes alongside concerning news. HSBC recently downgraded NEO's target price from $7.20 to $4.50, shifting their recommendation from buy to hold. Unsurprisingly, this caused some jitters in the market, with NEO's stock dipping slightly in pre-market trading. However, the new target seems nonsensical, it's already aligned with the current stock price. This downgrade shouldn't worry investors much as it lacks substantial reasoning. At the recent CES event, NVIDIA showcased its auto partners, including prominent names like Toyota, Xiaomi, and Li Auto. Yet, two major players were absent, NIO and Xpeng. Why? Both companies are actively developing their own autonomous driving chips, positioning themselves as competitors to NVIDIA rather than collaborators. NIO's in-house chip, the NX9031, is said to be four times more powerful than NVIDIA's Orin chip, while Xpeng's chip is three times as powerful. This shift underscores their commitment to independence and innovation. Meanwhile, Li Auto remains reliant on NVIDIA solutions, as do other automakers like Tesla, BYD, and Xiaomi. Currently, every second-generation NEO vehicle is equipped with four NVIDIA Orin chips, delivering unparalleled computing power in the smart EV market. However, this reliance comes with a hefty cost, as NEO must pay NVIDIA fourfold for every vehicle. To address this financial strain, NEO has invested in R&D to develop the NX9031, aiming to reduce costs and improve profit margins significantly. The transition is happening quickly. While current models still utilize NVIDIA chips, the upcoming product updates scheduled for Q3 and Q4 this year will see the inclusion of NEO's own chip in models like the ES6, EC6, ET5, and ET5 Turing. This upgrade, part of the version 2.5 refresh, also includes horizontal screens and other features. The switch to the NX9031 will eliminate the need for four NVIDIA chips, replacing them with a single NX9031. This not only cuts material costs, but also boosts the profitability of each vehicle. NVIDIA recently unveiled its next-generation Thor chip, which is claimed to be 20 times more powerful than its predecessor, the Orin. While this sounds impressive, the cost of the Thor chip will likely be significant. On paper, the NX90 the 31st of May seem inferior in terms of raw power, but NEO plans to equip its ET9 models with two NX9031 chips one for backup achieving computational parity with NVIDIA's Thor chip. Importantly, NEO's chip offers strategic advantages beyond performance. By developing its technology domestically, NEO is shielded from potential geopolitical restrictions. For example, if trade tensions with the U.S. escalate, automakers dependent on NVIDIA could face supply disruptions. NEO, however, would remain unaffected, making its self-reliance a strategic asset. This approach also aligns with China's national priorities, reinforcing NEO's image as a patriotic and innovative company. The Chinese government has consistently backed NEO, highlighting the company as a leader in domestic innovation. Unlike Li Auto, which still relies heavily on Western technology, NEO's commitment to self-sufficiency has earned it a favorable reputation. This government endorsement could translate into more support and opportunities for NEO in the future. Switching to the NX9031 chip will significantly improve NEO's margins, a crucial step toward achieving its profitability targets by 2026. The cost savings from eliminating NVIDIA chips could free up resources for other strategic investments. 
Furthermore, if NEO's chip proves competitive in price and performance, it could potentially attract interest from other automakers, challenging NVIDIA's dominance in the autonomous driving market. The decision to part ways with NVIDIA is both strategic and forward-thinking. While NVIDIA remains a key player with advanced chips like the Thor, NEO's NX9031 positions the company as a formidable competitor. This move not only reduces costs, but also strengthens NEO's independence and market position. Over time, this shift could enable NEO to gain a larger share of the autonomous driving market, both through its vehicles and potential partnerships. In conclusion, NEO's pivot away from NVIDIA is a bold move that reflects its commitment to innovation and financial sustainability. By prioritizing self-reliance and aligning with national interests, NEO is well positioned to thrive in the evolving EV landscape. Thank you for joining us today. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more stock predictions and market insights. Remember to turn on the notification bell so you never miss an update. Happy investing, and see you in the next video.